little walk around of my Overland trailer since uh, getting ready to tear down last night. It, it rained pretty good. So I'm letting it dry out as much as I can. I'll probably have to break it all open again and get it all dried out before I pack it up for the road trip home. But we'll walk around starting at the tongue. You can see I've got the diesel heater, cooler, and then I've got the new tongue on there. I don't know if you've seen my old video. I had that short tongue and I've replaced it. Got my power there, a little deep cycle battery. I've got my Pioneer kit and then my 270 awning that is still very wet. Solar power and gearbox and then my box that I store inside cook kit my whole mess area right here there's my propane tank my little lugaloo very handy to have and you'll see my stabilizer not the greatest but it was something I could just throw together right now <laughs> I even had to use a uh, extension for the pin <clears throat> but it works pretty nice I'm really happy with it it's the Smitty built XL tent and the uh, annex with it the annex is not quite straight because I'm dealing with a height issue I wanted to make sure that my tent cleared my garage so I can store this in my garage year-round and it's one of the things I got to deal with um, I might go back and figure out a new way to mount it on there so it can be raised up and down <clears throat> and inside there you can see I've got my traction boards and then these are really handy to have because it's metal frame inside the aluminum and uh, just hang everything off of it oh here's a neat little thing too when I first got the uh, M416 trailer, it was all camouflage green, and you could not read the data plate at all. So I got online, found this company in Yugoslavia, of all places, that remanufactured these data plates, and they are exact to what it was before. I punched in all of the data with a little punch kit, and... It looks a lot nicer than it did before. Plus the old one is a little corroded and nasty. But I'll back up a little bit so you can see the whole setup. I'm just camped out at a uh, backcountry campground in the Forest Service um, up here in the Sin Lahican Valley. And this is what my camp looks like just at the base of the valley and there's a Sin Lahican Creek right through that Aspen Grove and it looks like they've thinned out the timber here pretty nice and I do have some neighbors they were up until 1 a.m. last night hooting and hollering playing music but there you have it and hope you like it and I will see you next time.